GCSEs and A-levels are in less than a month now and you're probably struggling to study for your exams. So here's everything you need to change to finally start getting some work done before it's too late. Now, if you're doing GCSEs, then I was in the same place last year. So I know how hard it was to revise 10 plus subjects for over a month's time. It gets long and boring. But two things I know that can help you finally get off your phone even after a long day of school is first to keep reminding yourself of why you're doing this work. Now, I know it can get annoying and cringy after a couple of times, but if you keep reminding yourself of the grades that you want, then eventually you're gonna feel guilty of wasting the only time that you have before your exams. And the second thing, which is something that's not as general, is just that every day, whatever task you set yourself, you need to have a mindset that you end up completing it. So let's say you set yourself like hours worth of time to complete a chapter, but instead you wasted two hours watching a show. If you have this mindset, then you'll still push towards the end of the day and finish it no matter what, even if it means getting late towards the night. Now, with only a few weeks left before the final exam start, it'd be a pretty bad mistake if you started making or even finishing off notes for the content of any subject, no matter how important you think that subject is, like let's say biology or history or whatever. And instead, the type of notes that would be better are the notes that you make after doing exam questions. Because trust me, everyone that you know in your year, they've already started past paper questions. So stop thinking about the notes you make for your content and instead let's say there's a chapter that you haven't covered in terms of content I want you to instead pull up all the past paper questions you can find for that chapter and do all of them and so after doing them any points you miss out or get wrong make notes on them and naturally the points that you see that are new to you you're obviously going to have to flick through your textbook I'm not saying these textbooks are bad but I'm just saying at this point it's probably better for you to watch videos when you want to learn that topic and I'm saying that for two reasons first one obviously because let's be real you only have like two hours max after you come back from school to do quality revision and you don't want to be wasting half of that just rereading the same line because you lose track so instead watching the video can actually help you learn it better and it actually helps you understand it probably more as well that's what i think at least because remember you only have a limited amount of time so the faster you finish the content and quicker you get onto exam questions the better but then again i don't want just like to seem at the end of the world like because i don't also want you to get too stressed and start overthinking that you don't have enough time left because that can also put you off your revision because you also got to remember the weeks you have during your exams most people start revising and also switch up as well all i'm saying is that if you sort out your routine now for after school revision it makes your life so much easier going down the road now i talked about past papers and content but let's just take a step back and i'll tell you small changes you can make to make your revision routine after school a bit more productive obviously to start off the work you have to use a plan but the to-do list you make the points you make in them you don't want to make them so simple so i don't want you to say for example go over chapter six biology because that's not going to help you a lot is it instead ask yourself how hard or easy you're finding that topic or how well you want to do in that subject that you're going to be revising because then that means it can give you like a much more specific or much more better time to revise for that subject and obviously you don't have to write everything down on a piece of paper write the main tasks on like let's say the notes app on iphone and all the extra information just keep that in your head and something else that would help you a lot is listen.com now listen.com will sponsor in this video they're basically an app or website that converts any form of text into audio so that means you can convert any pdf document containing revision notes or academic papers etc all into audio and so that means you can consolidate over this stuff after school when you're feeling a bit too tired to actually sit down and read now because it's audio being played out to you that also means that you can use it when you're going or coming back from certain places like school and if you do that that means then you're going to be spending less time when it comes to revising at home but it's not just a simple app that contains audio being replayed from text listen.com contains so many of the features like the plus note feature so let's say you listen to a pdf document and you want to take out a specific piece to use as a note and you can do that at the click of a button and obviously because you're revising for exams that are super close you're not going to be spending too long on listening to these notes and so listen.com helps you out with that because it can automatically detect all the chapters that you're listening to and so you can skip to the parts you need and it also shows you the length of time. If you're interested in making your revision much more efficient for these exams then click the link in the description to start using listen.com now. Now just before I finish off I just wanted to say the point of this video was that I was going to give you tips for revising after school. If you are in sixth form and you get study periods and making good use of them will actually help you a lot. So, you know, doing simple stuff like homework can help you save so much more time because homework isn't the most important thing when it comes to revising for your end of years. Or you could just get straight onto the revision as well as that also helps. And that's basically it for this video. I know it's not the most detailed video, but I thought big exams are coming up. So I'll make a video for you guys. If you do like the video, then leave a like and subscribe comment down below any videos that you want me to make because i'm kind of struggling with the video ideas i'll catch you in the next one peace